Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. Hi, I'm Tina Jordan, and we're inside of one of the hottest parties in town. And tonight, we're going to ask a lot of celebrities about dating. So stay tuned, because this is your chance to find out what's really on their mind. LA's Factory Nightclub had the tightest list around. And no wonder, Playboy magazine was throwing a party and they were packing it full of lovely young playmates. Our host for the night was Playboy playmate Tina Jordan, and she had her fans at the party. She also spent a lot of time signing autographs and posing for pictures. But the former playmate had a job to do as well, and that was to unlock the dating secrets of all the celebs who were there. Hi, I'm Tina Jordan. I'm here with Howie. I'm a little bit more shy. I'm a little bit more reserved. So it would more be like one of those kind of things if I caught a person's eye across the room and I saw there was possibly a sparkle or interest or something like that. Either somebody like you or they don't. Usually when you look a woman in the eye for the first time, you both know if you like each other, or if you could go to that place that you both ultimately want to get to in a relationship. Our love Dr. Coolio may believe in love at first sight, but we decided to go into the crowd and talk to some of the other celebs and see what attracted them to their potential sweethearts. I think if a girl is, you know, has a good head on her shoulders. Hi, sweetheart. It's all about how, he's got to be tall. Is very career orientated, you know, has goals of her own. He's got to keep me going, he's got to keep me motivated, he's got to keep me interested. Probably the best thing about a guy is his ability to make me laugh. Great personality and he's got to make me laugh. Sense of humor, honesty, and compassion and caring for other people. It's just like the person and how sincere they are with me. And honesty and sincerity. It's all about the insights. Also good hygiene very important to smell good. Now you have the inside scoop on what it takes to impress a girl. But once they're impressed, where do you take them? If you're going on a date, where would you bring a girl that you want to impress? Into my kitchen. I'm, I'm, I'm the ghetto gourmet. El Co Magnifico, you know what I'm saying. It was a trip to the bathroom of the suite that we were all partying in. Take them walking. Take them to the beach, to the park. Take them to the mountains, to the woods. When you're really into somebody, doesn't matter where you go. Sometimes going out for a nice dinner, you know, for some sushi possibly. People want to be excited. I'm talking about new experiences, doing something that you never did before. It doesn't have to be Hawaii or France or Rome. It just has to be somewhere quiet and personal. Whether it's long-term relationships or it's just a one-night stand, the celebrities confess their most romantic dating encounters. I had a birthday and a girl took me to Napa Valley to the winery. It was a beautiful restaurant. I was in love with somebody. My best friend once called me up and said, I want to take you and show you this beautiful scene that I saw the other day. He picked me up in a limo filled with a hundred white roses. He took me out and he took me to this little park in the town that I went to and I looked up when my boyfriend, ex-boyfriend and I were driving on the freeway and we had sex while he was driving. There is these absolutely gorgeous northern lights above. And champagne and going on, you know, out to dinner. We went out. You know, outside of the wineries. Love notes, like beautiful cards, and um, then kissing me. I love being kissed. The waves were coming in, and then she just jumped right there. So I think that was probably one of my best dates. 